What's going on, everybody? It's Nice Pants Lance, your favorite YouTuber from Western New York. And today I'm spamming all the local groups with another motorcycle video. Wait, wait, don't click off the video. I know you're going to want to see this. I'm bringing you a detailed walk around of a slick new sport touring bike from Triumph called the Tiger 660 Sport. Now, I know what you're thinking. Lance, trying to pitch a sport touring bike in Western New York is like trying to pitch ice cream and soda to a diabetic. But you gotta trust me, you're gonna like this one. Before I get going, I gotta give a little shout out. This video is brought to you by Maddie's Motorsports East, located in Farmington, New York. Go check them out at maddieseast.com for the largest selection of Triumphs, Indians, side-by-sides, and more. They're located on the corner of Route 96 and Mertentia Road in Farmington, New York. This brand new offering from Triumph is the Tiger 660 Sport. Triumph offers three colors, Lucerne Blue and Sapphire Black, Corrosi Red and Graphite, and Sapphire Black and Graphite, as seen here. This model is a new addition to the ever-growing mid-size sport touring category, and a handsome one at that. For a bike with a very unassuming frame, it does have a strong poise and very attractive aesthetic. This Tiger 660 Sport is essentially based off of the Triumph Trident 660, so it shares the same 660cc inline triple that the Trident does. This liquid-cooled 12-valve triple is a real versatile engine that makes 80 horsepower at 10,250 RPM and makes 47 foot-pounds of torque at 6,250 RPM. If you calculate the power-to-weight ratio, this would be equivalent to having a 700-pound Harley with 123 horsepower, which I think we can all agree is a crap ton. For a liquid-cooled bike, they've managed to tuck the radiator very neatly in the front end. Normally I think radiators ruin the look of a motorcycle, but in this case, it's very fitting. With all that power, you may need to come to a stop fast, so for braking, up front we have dual Nissans with ABS. In today's day and age, nothing beats dual disc front brakes with ABS. And trust me, they're fantastic. My Rocket 3 had dual Nissans up front, and it could make that 800 pound bike come to a stop in a flash. To complete the set, it also has a Nissan brake in the rear. Supporting its tubular steel frame, we have two 41mm Showa forks in the front. We also have a Showa shock in the rear that is preload adjustable. This setup provides about 6 inches of suspension travel at both ends, which is great for a nice plush comfortable ride, but also delivers enough feedback for spirited riding. This bike has a really nice looking rear end with its trident shaped grab handles and pillion seat. The seat does look really thin from this angle, but I promise it's a very, very plush seat and it's much wider than it appears in this video. Although the license plate holder is a little fugly, it's still a very attractive looking rear end. I'll tell you what's not fugly is the view of the cockpit from the driver's seat. The tank shape is thin where it needs to be, but it also has a muscular shape and the size is big enough to carry a lot of road presence and it doesn't feel like you're on a small bike when you're looking down at it. I have to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the stock exhaust, but then again, I'm not a real big fan of any modern stock exhaust these days. The headers look pretty nice though. Nothing an aftermarket exhaust can't fix. And despite its appearance, it does sound pretty nice for a stock exhaust. I know this is the sound of a Triumph Trident, but they're basically the same engine, so deal with it. I am a big fan of this display shape and style. If you're like me, you really don't care for the modern TFT displays that basically look like someone glued an iPad to their motorcycle. However, the old needle style gauge pods are a little out of style, so this hits the nail right on the head for me. Ooh, who's that handsome guy back there? The buttons used to navigate through their features are of amazing quality. They look great, feel nice, awesome response, the click just feels solid, and it, it's very easy to operate as well. I have to applaud Triumph. They make great looking side mirrors and you can actually see out of them. A lot of smaller bikes have mirrors that look great, but you're basically staring at your elbows the whole time. 
One of the best comfort features of this bike is the one-hand operable windshield in the front. It was developed not to remove all the air off of your body, but to pitch the flowing wind up and over your head. The windscreen is rock solid, but easy enough to adjust up and down with one hand. Real quick, I want to do an ergonomic check, just so you can see how this motorcycle looks with someone sitting on it. I'm 6 foot tall, 250 pounds, with a 32 inch inseam. You can tell just by looking at it, the seat isn't as low as a cruiser, although once I throw a leg over it, I can tell this is comfortably tall. The seat kind of meets you halfway, if you know what I mean. Flat footing is so easy, and once you pull your legs up to the pegs, you're in one of the most comfortable seated chair positions I think I've ever felt on a motorcycle. The best part about the Triumph Tiger 660 Sport is that you can get all this style, comfort, and performance for $9,495. That's right, all that for under 10 grand. If you like this motorcycle, give this video a like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Peace.